Okay, so just completed my first big, well, kind of big project, I guess. Big for me since I've never done these things before. Um, and I want to record because every time I figure something out, like last night I put some blinking LED programs in, and um, the one that everyone starts out with is blinking the onboard LED there um, on pin 13. That's sort of the beginner basic one, and it's nice and easy because there's a built-in LED. You don't have to hook anything into the system. Um, I did that last night. That was easy enough. And then I did an external LED, which was a lot more difficult since I'm still struggling with this whole anode versus cathode, ground versus whatever, plus minus voltage. I mean, I've had the basics and I get it, but when you're actually hooking things up and you're afraid of frying your leads it's something that you don't want to mess up I think I may have already fried a photovoltaic sensor so I'm going kind of slow and today I hooked up this eight segment lead and got it working and since it took me a bit to get right I want to make sure that I record this video so that I can go in later and remember where everything was hooked up and why I also did a pretty cool little uh, software thing for it. I don't need to remember that though because it's saved on the computer. So first of all you'll notice that we're not hooked into the computer. Um, it's a mini USB on these red boards. Here's the cable over here. Um, and it's kind of nice because it, the board, um, the regular Arduino Uno has a much bigger US, full size USB um, type B connector there. So um, and then the uh, currently since it's not hooked into the computer I've got it running off a 9, 9 volt battery which is fine um, just to demonstrate what it does I'm going to press the reset button so I've got this trim pot here the potentiometer hooked in as a sensor on the analog side of the board um, right there and you can see that white wire going to the center of the trim pot. That's its output, I suppose, if you wanted to think about it that way. And then, um, I don't know, in the code, it uses this function call to get a reading from a particular sensor port. And I have no idea. I know that the maximum value is 1023, which is obviously 0 through 1023. That's 1024 values. That makes sense. Um, but I don't know exactly how that works. Is that based on the output being the five volts that I selected? Um, if it were five volts that it got back, would that be 1023 or I don't, I don't know exactly how it determines that. So I wrote code that doesn't care. Ultimately my code here, when I turn the pot, you're going to see this light right here is going to blink anytime it's calibrating. So right now the maximum value it's gotten was zero. If I turn it up a little bit, it blinks, and now it thinks it's at an about an eight. And it's gonna keep going. You'll see nine flash every now and then. I turn it all the way up, and now it knows it's not calibrating anymore. There's no more blinking, and we're at a nine. And now I can turn it down, and you can see that it goes back down to zero. So all the way up to nine, all the way down to zero. And basically, I'm just reading that off that potentiometer and then using this tangle of wires over here to light up the seven segment display. Now, the top center, um, which isn't being used, and the bottom center, I believe, are this one's called a common anode, I believe, and then the other option is a common cathode. And that's where I get a little mixed up because I looked it up on Wikipedia and sometimes an anode means the, the positive, sometimes an anode means the negative. In this case, um, we can follow the white wire here in the center. I've got it hooked into positive, which um, gets the resistor, which is kind of nice. It means you don't need a resistor on every single input. You can just do it off one resistor, and that's a 1,000 um, ohm resistor. I don't remember the exact value. Anyone who can read those colors could probably tell you. I'm not very good with that. I'm still learning. Um, so I just have my power coming in from the board, um, the five volt power there. I've got it going through the orange wire into here. 
I've got one that I branched off with the resistor and one without the resistor. That blue wire goes to the pot because the potentiometer doesn't need the resisted value. I tried it with it and it didn't work as well. Um, you'll notice we've got a little thing of uh, electrical tape. The only complaint against the red board versus the um, real Arduino board that I've been able to find is that the LEDs that they have on here are just too darn bright. And I found that to be true after working with it for a little bit. So I stuck that over the LED just to dim it down a little bit. Um, the rest of these just get hooked up according to a data sheet, which I found a clearer picture on an online tutorial um, that shows which ones are 0 through 7 or whatever. And then this, this guy right here is number 7. I do remember the dot is number 7. Um, I might post another video reviewing the code sometime, but the code really wasn't... I The only modifications I made to the original uh, tutorial were to include a special function for writing out the numbers instead of having to remember the bit values. There's this cool register or registry trick or whatever. Not registry. The, the internal register on the chip that controls the, um, the outputs for these digital outputs, 0 through 8. Um, 0 through 7, you can actually use just a, a byte to write to that, which is what I'm doing. So if you're interested in more than that, let me know, and I will post um, a video reviewing the code and how that works. But that wasn't the hard part for me. This was the hard part for me. Um, again, we've just got that positive input, the 5 volts, going through this resistor, going into that bottom center. We could have used the top center, doesn't matter. And then we've got the other pins. And because this is the positive, for some reason in the code, the only thing I do want to mention is you've got to write high, which usually turns something on, to turn it off. So right now, that center LED is turned off. It's written high, so that bit is written as a 1, and the rest of them are 0. That one also is written as a 1. So the uh, that's the only thing that's a little backward with a common anode seven segment display as I understand it. Uh, it's a lot to learn. I'm still, hopefully I'll be an expert at this one of these days, but there you are. That's an overview. That's my very first project. Got messes, messy wires all over the place. Pretty proud of that. Um, it really was, um, the code part was the most fun for me. I'm, I'm hoping that someday the electronics portion will also be fun for me, but um, I really enjoyed writing the code to take that potentiometer value and turn it into a number on the screen. I tried it with the photovoltaic center, sensor, but um, until I get another one, I won't know if I burn that one out or not. I'm getting weird values from it. Um, I also need to learn how to do some sort of data dump and read values later. You know, on normal programming, you can usually write out to a console of some kind with this board. I don't know how to do that yet, so I need to learn how to do that too. Anyway... That's uh, that's my first project. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want that follow-up video covering the code. Bye.